how did SOI come together? Uh, that's actually a pretty funny story. Um, when I was 18, I used to live in this, uh, this garage, and then I had a Lion 6 half stick. It was, it was beautiful. And then, um, you know, I would every morning at 6 a.m., I would open my garage door and play the national anthem, you know, just to wake everybody up. So uh, one day, you know, this, this kid named Alex, you know, he, he just moved in, like, right next to me. So he, he knocks on my door, and, you know, he, he, he hears the national anthem, and, you know, he looks at my garage, he sees my guitar in my half stack, and just says, you know, do you play? And I was like, well, yeah, obviously, you know, it's right there. So he asked me, you know, do you, do you mind if I play? And I was like, well, yeah, you know, I guess, as long as you don't break anything. So then he goes, uh, then he gets on it, and it was, it was like, like, you wouldn't ever even be able to tell he could play, because the way he looked, he just kind of like a Forrest Gump dude, like, you know, just kind of slow. So, you know, he jumped on it, and it was, it was phenomenal, it was awesome, it was like seeing Hendrix back at 69 at Woodstock, and, um, it was, it was absolutely incredible. I was like, you, you know, you want to start a band? He was like, yeah, yeah, sure. So the only thing we had to do then was find, you know, find the rest of everybody else. So, um, that's, that's where I found his other kid, you know, um, Joe. Yeah, um, he was, like, around our age, and he, um, he just, he heard us playing one day. He moved in across the street, too. And he heard us playing, and he walked right over, you know, he brought his drum set over, and he just, just pounded on it. And it was, it actually, it was incredible. It was an amazing sight. It's like if Lars Ulrich and Neil Peart had a baby, that's who he would have been. That's that. That's exactly what you would have saw right there. And then you know he asked us if we had a drummer for starting the band. I was like, Nah, we ain't got a drummer. You know, if we started a band, yeah, you want to join? He was like, Yeah, I'll, I'll join. I'll join. I was like, You know, with you, we'll, we'll, we'll you know, but actually, we'll go somewhere. So um, from then on, it was just just us three, and we just made the best the best music ever. So um, what's it like having ninety two songs reach number one since nineteen eighty? Actually, it was good. It was good. Um, going to Ozfest six times. Um, the action figures, the women. Speaking of women, excuse me. Uh, where? Where was I? What's up? Um. Okay. Um. Moving on. Um. So, uh, h how do you guys hang out? Like, you know, outside of the studio. Nothing much, just listen to music, talk about music, um, watch TV, movies, look outside, look for chicks, women, more chicks, less women. It's all good, you know? How did the band... So, how'd you get your name? How did the guys in the band get their names? Well, um, that's actually also a pretty funny story. Um, Too Fast Toadstool, you know, our, our drummer, he, um, he actually got his name by, well, the way he plays, you know, he's just really, he's phenomenal fast. Um, and he also got the word name Toadstool because, well, I mean, there's this one time he had these really crusty orange socks on. And he was wearing them for nine weeks without taking a shower. And, like, if they were so stuck to his skin, you had to literally peel his socks off with a butter knife. And it just smelled. It was just, it was it was a disgusting smell. I can't even remember it right now. I'm gagging just thinking about it. And, um, well, uh, RCC, you know, Rhythm Class Clay, uh, he, he got his name by uh, his great listening skills. His you know, ear listening, he could play to anything. Um, you know, and, uh, his, his, the first C came from, uh, he's, he's somewhat sophisticated. Um, you know, I guess if you took out a caveman and put him to kindergarten, I guess that's sophistication. So, um, and then his second C, second C, um, stands for, uh, Clay, and I guess, you know, I guess that means he never really left kindergarten, so we just put that in there. So, um, we get RCC. And then, uh, then my part, um, my name, 88 Fingers, um, well, I got that name because, you know, I spent six hours doing my scales on my guitar. And, um, well, I guess I uh, guess it also called me 88 Fingers because of um, a couple of parties I went to with some girls. And I guess, you know, I guess that smells, but, you know, gotta wash that, take care of them. 
So the Skulls and Sanity have their own poems, like other bands? Hmm. And what can I do? Um, no, not really. I mean, no, I mean, that's, that's the best part, you know, um, we're, we're cousins, so, you know, when, when we were young, we, we based this band on, you know, not arguing at all. You know, if we were going to force anybody, you know, it, it's it's like a win-win situation, so. No, nah, you're, you're never going to see us fighting at all. Define problem. So, can you give us a description about your number one song, Stillborn? Uh, it's about Stillborn Babies. Really? Yeah. Oh. I'm just kidding. Oh. No, it's about our emotions and the way we feel about the world, stuff like that. Let me see. Try to keep right. it. Try to keep it simple. So, do you guys ever think about breaking up? Nah, no. Well, um, no, no, you're not. But I doubt it's even gonna happen because, no, nah, we're, we're just a strong, strong friendship between cousins. That ain't gonna happen.